Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we'll be looking at all the London landmarks you definitely don't want to miss when you visit. Let us know your favourite London activities and destinations in the comments. The London Eye Though any Londoner might balk at the idea of riding the London Eye, for tourists it can be an invaluable way to get to grips with this huge city and where everything is. It's a way to have at least some idea of exactly where the confusing tube maps lead, as well as working out how far major landmarks are from each other. You will have to queue for quite a long time though, although waiting in a long queue is another London experience you shouldn't miss out on, and the tickets are pricey enough to make you blush, costing £27 or around $37, if you book in advance. But once inside the pod, you get 30 minutes of uninterrupted viewing time over one of the world's most famous capital cities. Number 9. The West End This extremely prestigious theatre district is right up there with Broadway in New York for hosting many of the best plays and musicals ever written. It's a badge of honour for any performance to have a run in the West End, and while you're in London, you should definitely try to see a show. And this is something you can do every time you visit and have a totally different experience each time. There are around 40 theatres in operation, ranging widely in size and prestige. While you can go to a huge famous venue and watch a celebrated performance of Les Mis, you could also find cosy theatres staging lesser known plays. And if you decide to head south of the river, Shakespeare's Globe is in nearby Southwark. Number 8. Take in the street art Another attraction that can change every time is London's rich street art and graffiti culture. While the first thing that springs to mind when you think of British graffiti is of course Banksy, whose murals are often painted over or destroyed, there are many art installations across London that aren't under threat like this. Some pieces are even commissioned, such as Camille Wallala's incredible makeover of Canary Wharf's Adams Plaza Bridge, created for 2020's London Mural Festival. The 2020 LMF was actually the first of its kind, and was a major step towards embracing the UK's street art rather than trying to get rid of it. And though the festival is over, its map still guides you through some amazing works of art all over the city. Number 7. Tate Modern London has many museums and art galleries. In fact, there are even two Tate galleries in London alone, the Tate itself and the Tate Modern. The latter is the one we're going to recommend, and it may be a little less crowded than the British Museum or Natural History Museum. You're also more likely to see new and upcoming artists featured at the Tate Modern rather than the great works of art history, which arguably makes it a more dynamic gallery, offering a different window into the art world than you might get elsewhere. It's going to be different each time you visit, with many exhibitions lasting weeks or even days, and you'll always be surprised and enchanted by something on display. Number 6. Camden Market These legendary markets were built up slowly over the course of an entire century, becoming the renowned, diverse markets known today as the Camden Market, though there are many. Unlike lots of things to do in London, Camden Market remains popular with tourists and Londoners, made up of many local businesses and it's a huge part of London culture and identity. You can buy anything from food to clothes to trinkets and souvenirs, and for the best experience, you'll want to visit at the weekend. Though this is when it's busiest, it's also when most of the vendors are actually open, and fighting through the crowds is definitely part of the experience. Just be sure you bring an umbrella in case it rains. Number 5. Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens This enormous royal park stretches over 350 acres in the heart of London, in the borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Originally used as Henry VIII's favourite hunting ground, it's been a protected and historic part of the city for the last five centuries. In the summer, you can go swimming in the lakes, while winter offers ice skating, so there's always something seasonal to do no matter where you go. It's also got many monuments and statues, including the Princess Diana Memorial Fountain. You can also visit the neighbouring Kensington Gardens, though entry to those isn't free, and during a select few months of the year, you can go to Buckingham Palace Gardens and even the palace itself, which is just down the road. Number 4. Portobello Road Market Though it's another vibrant market, you'll find an altogether different type of person visiting Portobello Road on the weekends. It's widely celebrated as the world's largest antique market, boasting a treasure trove of rare items and knickknacks. This means that the souvenirs and collectibles you pick up while there could very well be unique, valuable, or simply fascinating. You can find the market in the bougie Notting Hill area of London, and it's open year-round on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Finally, Portobello Road has one particularly famous patron, Paddington Bear himself, who lives in the area in all the works he appears in. Number 3. Tower of London 
The site of Anne Boleyn's execution, the Tower of London is a former prison that is now one of the most popular historic monuments anywhere in the UK. But not only can you see the cell where Anne Boleyn lived, you can also see the crown jewels, the very same ones worn by the Queen, and many other previous monarchs, during her coronation and during the annual opening of Parliament. You can also see and talk to the yeoman and see the tower's many ravens. There's even a famous legend that if the ravens leave the Tower of London, great ill will befall the tower and the British monarch will fall. So understandably, they keep many of these unique and interesting birds around. Number two, food tours. London has long been one of the most diverse cities anywhere in the world, and because of that, it has an extremely rich food scene with restaurants, cafes, pop-ups, and street stores from across the globe just waiting to be found. If you want to experience the multicultural cuisine without having to do extensive research, you can book a food tour and be guided in the direction of all kinds of hidden gems that tourists would otherwise miss. Not only can you be shown the best places to enjoy British staples like pie and mash, but you can tour the city's so-called hidden pubs and ingratiate yourself with London's famous drinking culture. You are never short of atmosphere in a traditional English pub. Number one, Houses of Parliament. This is the seat of the British government, where the House of Commons and the House of Lords convene to debate various bills and laws. But the Houses of Parliament, right on the bank of the Thames, is also one of the country's most iconic locations. The current building, which is technically a royal residence, though no royals are in residence, has been there for roughly 200 years, and is built on a millennium of British history. So long as you book in advance, you can have a guided tour through the Commons and the Lords. And yes, you can also get a tour to the top of the Clock Tower, whose correct name is the Elizabeth Tower, though everyone still calls it Big Ben. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.